Remember the days when you had endless amounts of energy and literally no fatigue? I'm going to give you three supplement recommendations that can completely change how you feel and give you back some of that energy. And stick around to the end of this video and I'm going to give you my most important supplement recommendation to fight fatigue and get back to having endless amounts of energy during the day. My name is Jason, and a few years ago, I was in a wheelchair. I decided that I needed to power myself with the knowledge to get out of that wheelchair. In doing so, I became a health coach and started HealthHealthy.com to share some of my journey and health tips that could help others. If you're interested in all things health and wellness, hit that subscribe button below. And also there's a bell icon and that will give you notifications every time I upload a video once a week about health and wellness. Okay, so today I wanted to give you my top three supplements that help give me cellular energy. But first, there's a quick recap that I wanted to go over with you. It's something called the mitochondria. And if you don't know what the mitochondria are, they're actually these small organelles. And organelles are just like a fancy way of saying super bacteria. And these little organelles build energy for the body. And that's where all of this starts. And and I know, even before I said mitochondria, there's going to be someone that's going to comment below saying that mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell. Like that statement, powerhouses of the cell, is literally ingrained in all of our minds if you're in the health and wellness space because that's what everyone says, but it's so true. The mitochondria are the backbone of producing energy in your cells and your body. So these mitochondria are basically batteries for your cells, right? So these little batteries inside of your cells get their power from burning something called ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate. Okay, let's not get too nerdy here. And we don't want to get too nerdy here, but if you can imagine ATP just being um, the gasoline and the mitochondria being the car. Okay, so now the nerdy stuff is out of the way. Um, Let's get to the three supplement recommendations. Supplement number one on my list, not the most important, but pretty important, is carnitine. So carnitine is basically an amino acid. And what it does is it shuttles the fatty acids from your food into the mitochondria. And that gives your mitochondria the ability to make more energy. So carnitine just transports some of those fatty acids from your food and into the cell. And once it's in the cell, the mitochondria can actually use those fatty acids for fuel. And another cool thing about carnitine is it actually removes some of the cellular waste products faster. So if you have carnitine in your system, you're actually removing some of those, you know, waste products of the cell faster um, out of the cell. It's kind of cool, right? Like, so L-carnitine, acetyl-L-carnitine, these things are used to, you know, bring in some good guys to the party and then kick out the bad guys. In my opinion, I'd invite them to my party. If you can do me a favor and you have the mitochondrial energy right now to hit that like button, it would basically make my mitochondria super happy. Okay, so carnitine. I have noticed a few things, and the top three things that I've noticed by using this supplement is cognitive function. So my brain is definitely working better, which is good, because I can make really cool videos like this. Also, it's reducing a lot of my muscle soreness, and third, it's fighting free radicals. I mean, free radicals are like, not the coolest thing to have in your body, and this fights them, so it's a win-win. Now, if you're looking for the best form of this, in my opinion, there's two really good forms. And in the show notes, I'm going to put the one that I'm taking. So you can check that out. There's a link down below. But L-carnitine and acetyl-L-carnitine are basically the top two that I found that work for me. Okay, supplement number two. So supplement number two that I recommend is alpha-lipoic acid. (laughs) Alpha-lipoic? What? What? That's a mouthful, right? Alpha lipoic acid. This is actually found in every cell in the body, and its primary role is to um, metabolize glucose in a process called uh, aerobic metabolism. 
and that's its primary role, but it also has a lot of other benefits that may be shocking to you. So alpha lipoic acid is actually classified as um, an antioxidant. Antioxidant fights free radicals, and these mitochondria are gonna need all the help they can get. So adding alpha lipoic acid into your supplement regimen will actually fight some of these free radicals, and you're getting some of that utilization of the glucose metabolism to energy. So it's a win-win in my book. You know what's really cool about alpha lipoic acid? Is it actually works as a synergist to B vitamins in the body. So alpha lipoic acid is actually water soluble and fat soluble, meaning it can penetrate pretty much every cell and tissue in the body, making it cellular bioavailability. I don't know if that's a word, cellular bioavailability. If it is, comment below. <laughs> But the best forms that I actually take, I'm going to list in the show notes because there are a few different forms and there's one really good one that is the most beneficial and the most bioavailable. So check the show notes below for the best supplement form to take. Okay, before we get to the final mitochondrial boosting energy supplement, I think this video could use a boost by hitting that like button. YouTube really loves that when my viewers hit that like button because it lets them know that this video is helping you guys. So if you could, hit that like button. Now let's get to the final mitochondrial boosting supplement and in my mind, the most important. So it looks like your mitochondria had enough energy to make it to the end of this video. Give yourself a round of applause. You guys are great. Okay, so the last supplement recommendation that I'm going to recommend you may have heard of. And if you have, comment below and let me know if you're taking this supplement, if you've noticed a difference, and what form you're taking it in. That supplement is called CoQ10. Okay, CoQ10. Sounds like a weird abbreviation that may have this really fancy, nerdy term. And it is. It's coenzyme Q10, also known as ubiquinone. Ubiquinone is found in every cell in our body, and its role is basically to shuttle electrons in this thing called the electron transport chain to make energy. And CoQ10 is found in pretty much every cell, about 95% of all the cells in our body have ubiquinone in them. So supplementing with a good high quality CoQ10 can give your body and your cells more bioavailability of the ubiquinone. So if you're running low, supplementing can actually help. So how do you know you're running low on ubiquinone? If you're having fatigue, you're tired all the time, you may have a poor production of endogenous, meaning inside the body. Your body's not producing enough ubiquinone. So supplementing with CoQ10 can actually help. Now there's a few different forms. I'm actually gonna let you guys know the best form of CoQ10, the one that I personally take, and the one that's worked for me, and it's relatively cheap and inexpensive. And the dosages that I actually take are quite high, but I've noticed at this level, I'm really, really high functioning, and it just makes sense for me to supplement at that level. So check the show notes for the type that I actually take. Now there is a few forms. You can go to your pharmacy, drugstore, supplement store, anywhere you get supplements, but you wanna look for a high quality one that's ubiquinol. Ubiquinol is actually the reduced form or the more bioavailable form in the body, and it's better for your body to use that form because it uses it faster. If it's ubiquinone, it's actually oxidized and it actually needs to go through a few steps before it can be more bioavailable. So ubiquinol is actually the form that you want to take. Okay, so this video we covered three important supplements that will actually help your mitochondria make more energy and in turn fight that fatigue. So the first one is carnitine. Second would be alpha lipoic acid, and the third is CoQ10. These three supplements that I have taken in the past few years have completely revolutionized my mental clarity, how much energy I have. I actually noticed better sleep just by taking these three supplements. So I'm hoping this video helped you guys, and I'm passionate about health and wellness, and I know you are too. And if you found this video helpful, Hit that like button to let me know that I'm doing a good job giving you guys relevant content and making sure that you're keeping up to date with some of these health tips that you can actually introduce in your life that can make a huge difference. You can find more about me on healthoutsy.com. And on my blog, I actually upload a video and a blog article every week on health and wellness, tips that you can actually use and take action steps to 
creating a better health and wellness journey for yourself. Thank you.